Okay, I'm Esther, I'm 38 and one fun fact about myself is my hiding place is in the kitchen. So don't kind of look for me when I'm in the kitchen. Now that you tell me that, I'm going to do it. Okay, now look. Okay. My name is Nathan and I'm 12 this year, which is PSLE year. And my favourite hiding spot in, this, in the house is my cupboard. Mama is very good at cooking. She's also very good at Chinese and thankfully at all, most of my Chinese compos for the second draft, I can just ask her for help. Yes, and she's also very smiley and uh, funny most of the time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nathan is very witty, very cheeky, very funny, but he is also very tender hearted. Like he will come and console you when he sees that you are not feeling too good. Mama, I have some questions for you. Not too hard, right? I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. Question one, if you didn't have me, what will you be doing now? I don't think there will be much of a difference because generally, I like children. So even if I don't have children of my own, I think I'll still be doing something with children, like what I'm doing now, to make sure that we have safer streets next time, a kinder society, building a generation that that can love and care for each other lah. So I don't think there's going to be a difference there's you or not because okay. that's what I like to do. What is one thing you had to give up after having me? I, I don't think it's a question about giving up and I don't think I actually had to give up something. But having you actually gave me a lot of clarity on what season I'm in and what purpose I have for this life. But I think having you caused me to understand also priorities and help me make better decisions. So I wouldn't say I have to give up anything. Instead, it's just about balancing things, harmonising things. Okay, what is the proudest moment and the hardest moment as a mom? I think for recent years, my proudest moment is when I realised that you have learned how to say sorry and you mean it and you desire to like improve from it. Each time I see you, yeah, each time I see all these things happening, I feel very, very proud as a I okay, not very proud as a mom, but very proud of you. Hardest moment? <laughs> hardest moment. <laughs> when you don't say sorry. No. <laughs> okay, hardest moment would be those days that I feel I am running on empty and low and then I look to you and Mei Mei for some refilling. Huh? But um, it, don't get refilled. And then I think those are the moments that is a bit harder. Can I understand, right? Yes. So what are you going to do? Go to the next question. <laughs> okay, what are some things that I do that make you sad? You know what? I don't think there's a question I want to discuss it in public because I think those moments are for both of us to talk through it, for us to learn from it and see how we can help each other to be better people. So, okay, okay, mother's instinct, protect my boy. You're awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, are you able to forgive me for the wrong things I do? I would definitely forgive you, but I think it is beyond just forgiving. Because if you really uh, have done something wrong, is having a tough time, I want to look at it as how our home can always be a safe harbour for you. A place that you know if you have done something wrong, you can come back. A place that you know that you can trust us to embrace you and help you find solutions. But, <laughs> that doesn't mean that there's no consequences. But I think uh, to understand that consequences is not the end of learning, but the beginning of learning that we can journey together and come out stronger. Okay. 
In what ways do I make you happy? Too many! Then name a few at least uh... <laughs> I love your smile I love your droopy puppy eyes uh, I love those times that you lend a helping hand I love those times that uh, you you will help to take care of Mimi. I love those days that you come up with a good uh, checklist of the things you're going to do and excitedly check them off. That is the best part of school. Is it? Yes. Yeah, I think generally there's so many things about you that make me happy. Uh, just maybe not those times when I'm still sleeping and then you jump on my stomach. That's not how I do it. I jump on your head. <laughs> <laughs> how can I show love to you either at home or when we're out together? Show love. Generally, I think you are doing great. But if I really, really need to find something that I hope you can do more, perhaps would be to have more initiative. You knew it, ah? Yeah. Then it's quite easy, lah. Then fix already. More initiative to help out. More initiative to. I should just help out, lah. Yeah. Can. Can. I love that my mom can always manage to get my group projects working together again, even after I, no, really? Okay, okay, share. After my group projects, uh, some my team, sometimes my team, my group members, right, don't listen to me, not doing their work. Then my mother pops it, and then after that, everything miraculously starts working back again together. always persevering to help me even if it's like for example school work even in the subjects that you're not good at English, English words and science so many <laughs> okay 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 you're good at Chinese yes but then English words and science you may not be as good at but you always try to like um, help me and if you cannot help me you often you ask my friends even though that might bring paise but still, thank you for always persevering to help me. Okay, Mama, I have something for you. There you go. Wow! Is this from the school bookshop? No, the school bookshop one is tiny one. Okay. And, and costs like thank very you. expensive. It's real, right? It's real. Definitely, definitely not from the school bookshop. <laughs> the school bookshop don't sell this kind of fun. No. I saw something inside. It's like, maybe it's like the dried caterpillar we had in the broccoli. So the gift is to talk like this? Okay, la, thank you. I was not expecting what you said. Which one? The, the broccoli one. No, the persevere one. <laughs> 算了，不要跟你讲了，看看看看看看。<笑><笑>